Assalamu alaikum, you guys, and welcome back to my home business podcast. This is where I want to talk to you guys about halal home business ideas that you can start, as well as maybe some startup tips, strategizing, and marketing ideas. Um, and I have a new one for you guys today. So this is one that you may be familiar with and you may have heard about, but I'm going to address it anyway. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about being a meal planner, okay? So there are a lot of people who are into fitness these days, people who are trying to be healthier. And one of the best ways to go about changing your lifestyle for the best is planning, right? And a lot of that has to do with what we put into our bodies. A lot of people have no idea what to eat. People are online looking for ideas. Some of us even go to the doctor, but doctors are not necessarily trained on nutrition all the time. Um, You can't go see a a nutritionist, okay? Um, I'm just saying if you're going to your doctor, but if you go specifically to a nutritionist or a registered dietitian, then this is different, right? You can try to come up with something customized for you. But if you would like to be that go-to person because you are into health and fitness or a nutritionist or somewhere in that realm of things, this would be a great idea for you because you can be flexible. You have a few options here. With everything or a lot of things being online now, you have the option to create digital resources for people. You could be a coach, a nutrition coach with somebody, or you could help people one-on-one with customized plans. Now, I do want to have a little disclaimer here, though. I'm not a nutritionist, okay? (laughs) But um, from some of my research, um, I did learn that in some states, you're not allowed to do individual customized plans unless you are... Um, either a registered dietitian or a nutritionist, and that's only in some states, but you do want to check with yours just to be on the safe side. Um, They do say that uh, in some of them where they have those restrictions, you're not allowed to do like a customized plan for like this person or that person, but you are allowed to share a general um, meal plan idea. So in states like that, it would be um, a safer bet to just lean more towards, um, like I said, maybe creating some of those digital products or even courses, okay? Because a lot, a lot, a lot of people today do not know how to cook. And I don't even mean they don't know how to cook nutritious food. I mean, a lot of people don't know just the basics about cooking. Some people didn't learn when they grew up. Maybe they took a class in school, you know, some home ec classes are required, but maybe they weren't paying attention, but some people just don't know how to cook. So if you are one of those people who are gifted and you can just, you know, make anything and everybody who comes over just tells you that your food is just bomb, then this is something that should be right up your alley. Again, you have so many different ways and and if you're good at cooking, more than likely you like it, okay? So one of the things about marketing yourself is to actually cook the food. People were very visual. Um, Videos are really hot right now, whether you're doing a full on YouTube video or you're just doing some shorts like for YouTube or on TikTok or Reels on Facebook or Instagram. But you can literally show people how you're prepping the food that you're planning because that's another idea i'll talk about that in maybe the next video meal prepping because that's a completely different service but as far as other people seeing you do it that's marketing for yourself if you just go on and you start cooking and you tell people hey this is how you you know chop up a pepper and you know take the seed out of the middle without cutting your hand you know or this is what it means to dice an onion or this is what it means to mince garlic um this is how you fillet fish like whatever it is that you're doing i mean maybe you have a specific cuisine you know maybe you do mediterranean food or maybe it's vegan food or vegetarian or maybe you're into keto or low carb like there are so many different eating options out there or maybe you're a baker maybe you like to do sweets it doesn't matter like the sky is the limit if you are into anything that has to do with cooking okay like i said this i was talking specifically about meal planning but like i said the sky is the limit you could get into creating digital resources like i said so um creating cookbooks and meal plans so like a general plan that says okay if you want to lose weight um, and you're interested in a low carb option then you can buy this book that i have because this book has a lot of um 
meals on low carb and this is how you can get in you know your protein your carbs and your fiber um, from you know for one week or for 30 days or whatever you can follow this meal plan and then do some moderate exercise right or just walk <laughs> if you're not you know able to advise people on exercise don't worry about it just tell them to follow um, a mild walking plan along with eating right because um, a lot of people are not moving so this will definitely help them to see results um, if you're interested in veganism you could have variations of books. You can say, this is uh, vegan breakfast ideas. These are vegan sweets that you can cook. Or this is a full-on vegan plan, again, general, so you don't get into any trouble in any state, but a general plan that you could follow that will help you transition into becoming a vegan. There's so many things, vegan recipes that your kids will love, you know, because maybe some people are interested in veganism for health reasons, but either themselves or their family are not ready to take that plunge, but maybe everybody's interested in having certain meatless days. So maybe you have a book of um, meal ideas for the days that people decide to go meatless that they can just kind of throw in throughout the week, right? Um, so many different ideas. You could create a course on this is how you can lose weight from you know day one to day 10 or whatever, and have the different meal plans where you're actually showing people how to um, prep the meals and how to actually cook them because a lot of a lot of what comes into play as well with eating healthy even for people who know how to cook is um, having everything ready so if you're teaching people as well how to plan the meals like how to prep them like you know have vegetables to the side or um, I don't know how do you make some, uh, what, what am I trying to say here? Like some, a certain type of chicken, you know, maybe some shredded chicken. Maybe you put it in the slow cooker and put like some salsa in there. So you have like a taco flavored meat that you can, you know, store in the refrigerator a certain way. That way throughout the week, you can pull it out and throw it on a salad. You know, just kind of really get creative with it. If you decide that you want to do this idea, decide to yourself, okay, who is my customer? Who am I going to serve? Do I want to do help people who are keto friendly? Again, veganism, vegetarian people, um, low carb, wh whatever it is that maybe is of interest to you or that you're doing. Um, and then ask yourself, okay, how? what am I going to create? What am I actually selling? Are you going to be creating digital resources that you can sell to people? Because now you have to figure out, okay, where am I going to sell that? Am I going to set up a website? Where I sell this, am I going to go on a platform that already has a marketplace ready like Etsy or on Amazon KDP? Um, ask yourself, are you going to create the courses? And then if you are, are you going to create your own from scratch? Are you going to use a platform like, you know, Thinkific or um, what's another good one? Podia or um, uh, what's that other one? I forget, but maybe I'll put it in uh, the comments. But there are different platforms, right, where you can just kind of create your videos and then go plug them in. Um, and also you can ask yourself, how am I going to charge for this? So are you going to just do some research and figure out what other people are charging in the industry? Um, you want to ask yourself, how are you going to market this to those people? So again, like I said, one good way to do that is to have your own videos, have them have create a YouTube channel if you don't have one or create an Instagram or a TikTok or something that's just dedicated to you cooking and then have a link in your um, profile that says if you like this or in your videos, I'm sorry, say, you know, if you like this, then go check out the link in my profile. You know, I sell uh, whatever books or courses, whatever it is that you decide to do. You may even want to do some affiliate marketing. Again, like I said, the sky is the limit. If you're cooking and you're showing your videos to market the products that you're selling, you can also add affiliate marketing to that. You can create um, an Amazon affiliate program where you start to tell people, if you like this garlic press that I'm using, I have a link to my Amazon affiliate store in the profile. You can go there and get this specific one that I'm using. If you like this uh, vegetable chopper that I'm using or this food processor or whatever it is, you can have all of those things in your uh, Amazon links and they can go there and click on those. And for each one that somebody buys, you'll get a percentage of that sale, depending on what the deal is with Amazon or whoever else you decide to go through. 
And eventually you can get brand deals from people specifically. Uh, again, if these are nutritious meal plans, you may have somebody who has a protein company who reaches out to you and says, hey, your audience is really big. I have this protein powder or these protein bars. And then you have another revenue stream. These people will pay you to promote that. And usually they'll give you like a discount uh, code that your followers can use so that they also benefit from that in the process of you benefiting from it. Um, it may be to where either there's a flat fee that they pay you for you to advertise it. It could be that you get recurring income every time someone buys. It just depends on what type of deal you work out. So right there, you already have at least, um, what, three or four different streams. You're looking at digital products, courses, affiliate products. And then if you're in a state where you're allowed to, you can do customized plans for people. So again, I think that this would be a really good idea for somebody who enjoys cooking um, and who doesn't mind, you know, being in front of the camera and not even just physically, like it doesn't have to be you or your face. You could have the camera literally just looking at you chopping up the food and putting it on the stove. So the, again, the sky is the limit. This would be a really cool idea for somebody who's good with that. It doesn't have to take much for you to get started. Um, and if you have any questions about, again, how you can strategize that or any uh, tips that you need for helping you to market or which platforms would be good for you, then just let me know. So that's my idea for today is to do meal planning. Um, and like I said, we'll talk about meal prepping later because that could be a service that you could offer, but it's kind of separate from this. Um, this would allow you to do pretty much everything from home. and. Uh, send off everything from home. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you do try this or you already have it, let me know. I would love to see your website or what you're doing with your business. All right, guys, stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum.